exercise 182, page 460, question number 12, part A. This looks like quite an awkward integral, and it certainly doesn't look like one of the standard integrals. So what we have to do is to use algebra to simplify this and make it look like one of the standard integrals in the table. And the idea is to multiply out the brackets and then divide each term by the square root of x and use the laws of indices to simplify that. So have a go, and then here's the solution that follows. So the first step, we can think of this as 2 plus 3x times 2 plus 3x all over the square root of x with respect to x. And then we can multiply out these brackets. So this equals the integral. 2, two, two times 2 is 4 plus 6x plus another 6x is 12x altogether plus 3x times 3x is 9x squared all over the square root of x so x to the half with respect to x so now we split this integral to 4 over the square root of x plus 12x over the square root of x plus 9x squared over the square root of x all respect to x think of this now uh, using the laws of indices the square root of x can be written as x to the half because it's the inverse is x to the minus a half so this becomes 4x to the minus a half plus 12x times x to the minus a half plus 9x squared times x to the minus a half with respect to x. This equals the integral of, that's okay, we can integrate that in a moment, plus, now here we're multiplying um, one, power, one power by another, or x to the power 1 times x to the power minus a half, don't forget this x means x to the power 1, when we multiply with the same base, we add powers. So 1 plus and minus a half is a half. So this gives us 12x to the half plus 9. Again, adding the powers because we've got the same bases. 2 minus a half is 1 and a half. So that's 9x to the 3 over 2 with respect to x. Now we can just use that first law of this um, first law of integration add one to the power divide by the new power so this becomes x to the minus a half plus one is a half divided by a half plus 12 x to the three over two divided by three over two plus nine x to the five over two divided by five over two um, this equals 4x to the half times 2 over 1 plus 12x to the 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 plus 9x to the 5 over 2 times 2 over 5. So we can now simplify. 4 times 2 is 8x to the half plus uh, in this one, 3 goes into 12 4 times, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 8x to the 3 over 2. And the last one, 2 9s are 18 over 5, x to the 5 over 2. Finally, writing it back in third form again, this becomes 8 times the square root of x plus 8 times the square root of x cubed plus 18 over 5 times the square root of x to the 5 plus c. So quite an awkward question, but it's just basically algebra. 